It's a heartbreaking scene. A loved one dying from fentanyl poisoning. After losing her stepson of fentanyl, a local mother is doing what she can to help break the stigma around getting help, both for those struggling and their loved ones. On tonight's Eye on Coverland, Summer Rodershot talks with the mom about her advocacy work. As a child, Nicholas Doimo was full of life. He would just immediately wake up and then run across the room. And it always kind of scared me because I'm like, how, how do you have so much energy like first thing in the morning? That's just how he was. However, once high school hit, things started to change in Nicholas's life. He was experimenting with marijuana. And I know that it was, I want to say it was right around that high, like the beginning of high school years. Um, and then it started to get more serious. Nicholas started using other drugs and got into trouble with the law. His stepmom described that time as mommy hell. You do everything you can to help your child. And there's just not a lot of, I think it's getting better, but there's not a lot of education or help for family members. He was in and out of treatment for 10 years. Things seemed to be getting better. But in May of 2018, 25-year-old Nicholas relapsed. But we did not know until afterwards that he had pure fentanyl. He died, he used in our home, um, and he died instantly because of pure fentanyl. Following Nicholas's death, Melissa was contacted by Angela Kennecke, former Kelloland news anchor and founder of Emily's Hope. And I said something to her about, I really need to help. I want to help families. I've got to do something. The two mothers became co-chairs for South Dakota's Addiction Policy Forum, which brought them to Washington, D.C. So Addiction Policy Forum had a huge event where they brought in leaders and um, policymakers and people that had done programs to help. And so they had speaker after speaker after speaker to help educate us and to let us know what is going on in the world in terms of trying to help this this these addiction issues. The experience helped Melissa become an advocate for people struggling with addiction. We just did an International Overdose Awareness Day, our sixth annual on August 31st of this year. We do a candlelight vigil for that to help organize that for Emily's Hope. Um, I also uh, am a Smart Recovery Certified Facilitator, so I can run meetings for both people in recovery and for family and friends. She has also become an advocate for the friends and families of those struggling with substance abuse. She wants to help break the stigma. If my son had had cancer, people would be bringing me casseroles, flowers, knocking on my door to see what kind of help I needed. Nobody did that because of, there's so much stigma around it and people think, well, you're those bad parents with those bad kids. And that is not true. People think that we're bad parents because our child had a, a substance use issue, and that is not true. It's not a morality issue. It's in an effort to save lives and make sure others who lose loved ones don't feel alone. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Summer Rodershot. Melissa encourages families to seek help if they have a loved one who struggles with substance abuse. And we posted information for Smart Recovery, which has resources for both families and those who struggle with addiction under the story on Kelloland.com.